time on how I was almost scammed out of $400 on Poshmark. So my first year of selling on Poshmark, you guys, I did not know the ins and outs of the policies on Poshmark. So if you did not know, this is still very true on Poshmark. If someone goes to your closet and they just buy an item outright, they have three hours to cancel. So I'm not saying that they sent you an offer or I sent them an offer. Let's just say, for example, I have these boots for sale. This is the item that I almost scammed out of. I had these Stuart Weitzman boots for sale. I had them listed for $400. If this person, his name was Mark, by the way. Mark, I'm still hunting for you. If Mark had gone to my closet and sent me an offer, of $300, he wouldn't have been able to get away with the scam. Or if I had sent him an offer, you cannot cancel. A three hour rule doesn't apply if it's an offer. But if someone literally just goes to your page, they click buy it and they pay what you have listed, they have three hours to cancel that sale. So a common scam that people will do, I had to learn this the hard way, my first year selling on Poshmark, is they will buy something, very expensive usually, because they wanna scam you out of the most expensive thing they can. So he went to my page, he bought these Stuart Weitzman boots. They were, I had them listed for $400. They were like new. These retail, back then they retailed for like $800. They've since had like multiple price increases. I don't even know what they retail for now. So I had them listed for $400. He bought them outright. I was so excited, you guys. This was my first year selling on Poshmark. I had not at that point sold anything near that amount of money. Like the my my daily sales on Poshmark were like items selling for $20 to $50. Like if I got a $50 sale, I was super excited. And most of the time, like 80% of my sales, even to this day, come from offers. So that's either a buyer sending me an offer or I'm sending a buyer an offer. It's just a very buyer, a uh, very offer friendly environment. They really promote offers on Poshmark. So it's very rare, at least for me, that someone just goes to my closet and buys things outright. So especially as a new seller, I'm like, holy crap, this is so exciting. I'm gonna get these shipped. I always have shipped next day. It's just something that's ingrained in me <laughs> as a long time reseller. I ship six days a week, you guys. I just feel like people expect like Amazon service, even though most of us are small businesses, they want their stuff fast. A lot of people do, so I just ship next day. So I was like, great, I'm gonna ship these. I remember it clear as day, you guys. I was like, I'm gonna ship these tomorrow. It was Monday, I was gonna ship them Tuesday. Now the scam that people will do, they'll buy things outright from your closet, a Chanel bag, Stuart Weitzman boots, Louis Vuitton handbags, and then they'll message you simple tins like me They'll message you, especially if they can see you're new, and be like, I need you to ship this immediately. Mark was like, this is a, what did he say? He was like, this is a gift. I have the screenshot. I should blast him and put it on the screen. I saved it because I couldn't believe this. He's like, I need you. Can you ship this like immediately within the next couple of hours? It's a, what did he say? It's a gift for my wife. And I'm really hoping because you're, you're in California, I'm in California. Maybe I could get it by Thursday if you ship it immediately. So I was like, oh my yes absolutely i get the but they already had a box and everything i already had like a shipping box for them get them all wrapped up and ready to go so i'm so excited i get it packaged up i'm like absolutely print the label take it to the, oh my god i'm it's bringing back memories i'm spitting everywhere take it to the post office drop it off this is all within an hour of him purchasing it because i was just so excited to get this high dollar sale right I'm texting my Poshmark bestie and I'm like, oh my gosh, I just got my highest sale ever. I can't wait to make a YouTube video about it. This was my highest sale ever on Poshmark. Can't wait to make a YouTube video about it. And I told her, I was like, yeah, he just bought it. And I just shipped it because he said it's a present for his wife. And I just wanted to make sure she got it. She was like, oh my God, Nikki, go back to the post office right now. She didn't call me a dumbass, but I could tell she wanted to. She's like, this is a scam. This is what they do. You're new to Poshmark. You don't know this because I had only sold on eBay, you guys. At that point, I had only sold on eBay and Amazon, and you can't do this there. You buy something, it's yours. That's it. The, the bid, the buy it now, the offer, it's all binding. That's it. It's up to the seller if they want to cancel that for you. So this was like, oh, I think, honestly, I think this is such a flaw. I wish Poshmark would change this because they should give the seller the power to cancel or not. Like if you buy something for $400 and then you say, you know what, I don't want it, I should have to approve that. I don't think the buior should just be able to do that. So I shipped it, text her again. I guess people, 
because this gets people banned off Poshmark, obviously. They'll make like multiple accounts and just repeatedly keep doing this. Usually they try to do it to new, newer sellers. I mean, I wasn't that new. I think I'd have been selling there for like 10 months. I should have known better, but nobody told me about this. So you guys, thank the Lord. I am friends with most of my coast people. I take them donuts, I take them treats. I feel like they work so hard and they're really underappreciated and that's part of the reason they have horrible attitudes. I don't know, don't get mad at me, postal people. My dad worked at the post office for 35 years. <laughs> Anyways, I just try to snooze them as much as I can because the first couple of years going there, it was a rough relationship. So I'm friends with most of them and I ran, when I tell you I ran, I literally ran back there and was like, please tell me you can find this package. Luckily, it was very big. If you've you've seen the boots, they're knee high boots. So the box I used was very big. And I was like, please, I'll help you look. Can we please get this package? They had already taken it to the, taken it to the back. They literally let me go with two people and it was about to be loaded on a truck, you guys. And it took me about an hour and a half. They were so nice. Two of them helped me find the box and I got the boots. And that person, their account, whoever they are, was kicked off of Poshmark. I messaged Poshmark, but I'm sure they just made new accounts. It's so easy to make an account on Poshmark. So little warning from me to you, friends. I never let that happen again. I will say this has only happened, I've been selling on Poshmark for six years now. Well, it's like five years and nine months. This has only happened twice. So that was the first time and then it happened again after like my fourth year of selling on Poshmark, but I already knew by then. I was like, absolutely not. So little advice from me to you. If anyone ever goes to your closet and buys something outright, do not ship it within the first three hours. Don't, I'd say don't even ship it for the first day. Give it a full 24 hours and then ship the item, okay? Just warning from Nikki T.